Hi, I'm Andrew. In my previous video, I showed you how you can install Ubuntu on Windows 11 fast. But sometimes you have to access your Linux file system from Windows 11. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. If you like my videos and you want to see more content, please subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So right now we are on, on the C drive, yes, so, and of course we can go to users, to my user, and we can get the files or program files, etc. Yes, so uh, from, from Ubuntu to, uh, to, to the Windows operating system. But how to do that back? Yes, so for example, how to access my Linux file system on Windows machine. So let's see that. Uh, of course I do CD that and I do LS. So this is my Linux uh, file system and what I wanted to do first of all I'm going to uh, sudo uh, minus i mode why because sometimes we are uh, sometimes we are not have right permissions to create some files or create some folders and just to mitigate it I just execute the uh, uh, everything in sudo mode so I can what, can what I can do now I can do for example I, I will create a directory cd ls mkdir, I want to create it here uh, in, in the root, yeah, so mkdir, and then I say uh, demo, ls, so this is my demo uh, folder, where it is, it's over here, yeah, so barely not visible, but okay, so this is the demo, we, we can go to this particular folder, ls, so the folder is completely empty, and we can create a file over there, so to do that, we do echo, and I say, for example, like created, created on Ubuntu. Yeah, let's be precise. Ubuntu, created on Ubuntu. And then I send this to my file. For example, demo.txt. So what I'm, what I'm doing with this command, I'm just creating a file demo.txt and I put the created on Ubuntu as the content of this file. Okay, so my file is created. So if I do CAT, for example, and then a demo TXT, I will be able to see created on Ubuntu. So I'm just the CAT command is just to show the content of the file on Linux. Created on Ubuntu, this is my content of the demo TXT file. Okay, but this is Linux, yeah? So it means that uh, the files has some specific permissions. So if I do ls minus L, for example, I can see that uh, the only owner of this file had read-write permissions, yeah? So everyone else, uh, other users, has only the read-writes. So let's change that, because otherwise we will not be able to write this file on Windows. So to change that, I execute the command uh, change mode. Uh, and then uh, I say that I want to change some attributes for the other users. So O, it means that other users, equals uh, RV. So we want to read and write. Yeah, so, uh, and what we want to read and write? Of course, the file demo txt, I'm entered. Um, and then I do again ls minus l just to see. And now you see the other users also have permissions to write, not only the owner of the file, but also the other users. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted to do. So there are two options how we can reach uh, those Linux files on Windows. The first option is to use Windows File Explorer. Yeah? It's the easiest one in our case. So I'm, you, as you can see immediately when we install the Linux, we see the Linux folder here immediately on our Windows File Explorer. Yeah? So I click on Linux, I, you see the distribution. Yeah? So because you, have, you, you might have multiple distribution installed, you are not limited to only one distribution. So I open it, as you can see, this is the operating system of my Linux. Yeah, so with the demo folder that I created, if I go to demo, I see the demo txt file. Yeah, so which is the text document. And if I open this file, I can see created on Ubuntu, amazing. Yeah, so, and what I can do now, I can say updated, for example. Yeah, updated, updated on Windows. Windows, not just Windows, Windows 11. Yeah, so, okay, so that's it. I say file, save. I close this file. Again, I'm opening it again on Windows just to show you that it was really updated, yeah, so. And right now I return back to my terminal, to my Linux, and I say uh, CAT command again, yeah, so where is my CAT command, demo txt, yeah, so I want to see the content of the demo txt file, and surprise, surprise, we see updated on Windows 11. 
The second option, how you can reach those files from the Windows uh, terminal. As you can see, we have two tabs open. Yeah? So the first one is the Windows uh, PowerShell and the second one is Ubuntu. Yeah? So here is my Windows, here is my Ubuntu. Uh, I can go to my Windows and to be able to um, open because because I can't say for example CD uh, Linux yeah so because there is no Linux uh, uh, just the the Windows the Windows file explorer just simplify things for you so to be able to open your location we need to go to some specific place yeah and specific place it's Microsoft dot PowerShell dot core backslash file system two columns two slashes WSL dot local host slash ubuntu so right now so this this is location of my linux files yeah and then we say what distribution we want to use in my case it's ubuntu uh, dash 2204 if i'm not mistaken i press enter okay so we are there and if we do ls we see the file system from the linux yeah and as you can see my demo folder is over here so i can do cd demo ls and i see the demo of txt file which is also here yeah so and then what i can do also i can see the content of this file cat demo txt and again uh, this is the content of this file and of course what i can also do i can update this file from terminal saying that i want to for example update uh, update in terminal on that in terminal and again i send it to my demo.txt file enter so right now if i look at demo.txt i have created on ubuntu updated on windows 11 and then updated in terminal so if i return back to linux i do the same command cat demo and again i see that it's updated in terminal as well as on windows 11. so that's actually it thank you very much for your attention thank you very much for your time and see you in my next videos. Bye.